so the installation is done and uh, we go to the video before that we see it here laravel referrer and uh, we need to rename this but i have to open it in my um, software editor so i'm using vs code you you may be using sublime text or whatever else um, editor that uh, you like for me vs code is what i use so use your editor to edit this name you can't edit it directly from your command like this so this is it this is the same folder structure you see so i have to right click on this and uh, rename hit enter i've removed that dot example this extension is what i'm removing hit enter so it's gone so we'll get back to our command line um if this is your first time of um coding laravel these things might be new to you but if this is not your first time then uh this would be awesome so we'll go back to our command line and uh, do a php artisan key generate hit enter could not open file artisan all right uh we need to actually be in this folder we need to be in this Laravel refer referral folder, so we'll do cd Laravel referral Cool. We can now run our php artisan key generate command. Keep your eye here. It's going to add a key to this once it runs correctly. You see, it has added the key. Cool. So if I click here, I can click save. You see, save. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is to come through with um, viewing our, our Laravel app. So from here, we can just do php artisan serve. Just to be sure that our Laravel app runs well, we're now going to go to our, our, our browser and open this. Oops, I just stopped this up. HP Artisan Search. Cool. Go to our browser, visit it. Visit this URL and. Um, Alright, you see, a Laravel app is running. Um, like I said, this is not a 100% beginner tutorial on Laravel. Now, your, your antivirus might try to block this server, and if it blocks it, then it will never run. So, make sure you go to more options and create have it as an exception this is my i'm using avg so depending on the antivirus you see you're using once you see it trying to block server.php uh, you should grant it an exception all right so it now knows to ignore this server and let it run cool so the next thing we're going to do is uh to create a user system in larva in the next video